Okay, just like all the other times to go ahead and customize a drawer navigator, uh, we'll use an options object on a screen. Now, a drawer has a somewhat limited set of options you can have. Again, this is all available in the documentation, but it'll work all the same. So we'll pass an object, options object, and in here, let's say on our settings screen, we're going to disable gestures. Now, we can open it up via gesture on our tab screen, or we can go to our settings screen, and if I try to swipe, it's not going to work. Whereas if I press toggle drawer, it's going to work. So we've got that ability to customize. We've also got the ability to set our drawer label. Let's just say for the tab screen, we want to set this to just normal app, or let's set it to home rather. That's a better one. So we've got it set to home. Now when we open up our drawer, we can see our tabs are showing up as home. Now something that drawer does have, uh, it's also got screen options. We've covered that in past videos, so I'll just leave it. It's the exact same. You could set a default drawer label or whatever the options are. But with a drawer navigator, we do have quite a few just props that we can pass to it. For example, we could go ahead and set the drawer type, right? Right now, it's just drawing over top of our app. Alternatively, we could set our drawer type to be slide. That way, when we open up our drawer, it's actually pushing our entire application over. You may want to do that. There's also another option of back. And then if we open up our tab, we don't really see much of a difference there. But nonetheless, well, actually you can see the drawer is being rendered behind our app and we're just revealing it by moving the app away. So we've got that option available to us. Another thing that you've got access to is specifying the drawer position. We could say we want our drawer to be on the right rather than the left. Now if we try, I try opening it up on the left, nothing's happening. Whereas if I try to open it from the right, we now have a drawer on the right. So it's a very, very customizable thing. We can set our options, we can set our screen options, and we also have different methods to handle gestures and determining how the drawer should be presented, uh, which side it should be presented, so on and so forth. And it's all very easy to use via our little components here that React Navigation is providing.